back to the Van Build. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, this is Toby, and we're in the middle of building out our 2021 Ram Pro Master with no experience. If you're interested to see how it all turns out, make sure you stick around because I show you exactly how we get it done. So right now, I'm actually done with the task at hand. As you can tell, I'm just a disaster fest of a human being, but that's okay. So what I am doing today is, or what I'm showing you in this video is how I get the framing done around my bedroom wall and around the windows, which was a little bit difficult to figure out, but we got it and everything's working great. Can't wait to share it with y'all. Okay, so I picked up some 1x3s. I'm gonna use this to make the frame for my window. I'm gonna start there and see where the rest of the day takes me. Okay, so let's measure this sucker. I'm gonna measure it out at 39 inches. That's being, that's being very generous, but it'll be easier to make it shorter than to make it longer. And then this, I'm gonna go with the foot. So that is going to stick out quite a bit, but I think that will be okay. That'd be kind of fun to have a little miniature shelf here. I don't mind this at all, but I'm definitely going to have to make this shorter. snug over there but it fits here perfectly <laughs> all right one down one more to go okay so now that I have both of my window frames in Sorry, I'm talking slowly because I am figuring this out as I go. I need to figure out, I need to figure out how to keep them up. Okay, so this is the pine tongue groove that I'll be using. I'm just holding everything up right now to see how this is all gonna fit. Looks like this piece of framing, which is left over from what I have up here, is gonna do the job for down, for this bottom part. I haven't found a piece that will go across that'll fit well going across, but this is a good start. Still lots to think about. <laughs> Looks like shit. 
Okay, so let's have a conversation. I have not been talking much on today's task. This one, for some reason, doing the framing around the windows gave me a little bit of anxiety. I just didn't want to mess it up. And I had no idea. I didn't even have an inkling of an idea of how I was going to do this. I did watch a bunch of people's window framing videos so many times, but I think just the way I set my stuff up, a lot of them just didn't seem practical for how I have things set up at this moment, but this works perfectly and it is sturdy. Okay, let me tell you exactly what I've done. The framing itself, I used a one by three. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> and this channel isn't about being cute or anything. I mean, I have a marker on my face. I used a one by three to create the framing around the window itself and I Craig jigged them together. My only regret is that I did the Craig jig from the inside. I should have done it on the outside so that that isn't showing. So we'll uh, have to deal with that when we deal with that. Next for the framing, all of this here, here, everything else, those are half inch strips of plywood. What I did was create two pillars, those two. This one, I had to double layer it so that it would fit flush. So this is also a half inch, oh, sorry, there's a bug right there. Um, half inch piece of plywood and they're both connected to the van itself. I used a wood glue right here to secure it. I have it, all those down there and I some of them I had to put a little extra something something just to fit. And yeah, so the middle pieces are also connected to the van somehow just to add a little extra. Wow, I just love how sturdy that is. I truly wasn't expecting that. Same with this, same situation. Can't wait to see how this all turns out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm really happy to be here and I'm happy that you guys are here watching my journey. This is super exciting and I'll see you next week. Moon is watching shallow dreams. Night is rocking her to sleep. Wind whispers in the tree. Hidden secrets are hard to keep.